Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, or if you clicked on it by accident, thank you for doing that. Don't hit the thumbs down, hit the thumbs up. Um, I apologise for all the cat hair that is pervading my entire life. Um, but whatever, we'll live. Um, yeah, thank you for clicking on my video. So I want to talk a little bit more about economy picking. Now, most of you know that I absolutely love economy picking. It's the way I pick through pretty much mostly everything. Uh, well, okay, not everything, but I use economy picking and alternate picking as a team. Because you can't economy pick everything. It depends on the mathematical amount of notes on each string. Um, but I just want to show you a little bit about some economy picking ideas that I use quite often in my playing to connect a lot of my fast runs. Now a lot of the time when I'm improvising I'm playing like the fast red runs, I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing. Um, I'm sort of, uh, you know, it's sort of pre -learnt. there are a lot of pre learnt patterns I'm doing. So I just figured I'd show you some of those pre learnt patterns now just so you can have some fun with it. Uh, you might benefit from learning, you know, the three note per string modes, and I talk about them a lot. But that that is the the sort of the primary way that I map out the fretboard. Um, so you know, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, so on and so forth. I'll take them shapes. I will take those shapes, and then I will use these patterns with them, and I'll kind of come up with my own shred runs and my improvisation. And even when I'm writing songs, I'll just kind of throw throw some of these runs in there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll run you through some of them. So for those of you that aren't aware, economy picking is just uh, if we're on the low E string, we'll do three notes on that, we're going to go down, up, down. Well, if we go to the A string, we're not going to pick up into the A string because it means we'd have to hop over the string, so we're just going to pick directly down into it. So I just think of it as a mixture of sweet picking and alternate picking. And this is the primary way, uh, the main way that I will try and pick if I can. Won't pick everything like this, but for the most part. So if we just take our normal three note per string mode, right? So let's just take, let's just say we're in E minor, so E natural minor scale, um, which is going to be, you know, uh, 12, 14, 15 on the two low strings, 12, 14, 16 middle strings, 13, 15, 17 B string, and then 14, 15, 17 high string. Um, if our economy pick you know, from the low E string to the high E string, I'm going to go down, up, down, all the way up, right? So, so we've got this kind of idea. Down, up, down every time, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, right? So I really like that glide, right? I'm really thinking in terms of sweep. I'm really thinking about sweeping. Ugh. So for me, that sweep that I just did there is really no different from, you know, the economy motion. Um, so yeah, really, I, that's really how I think about it. Like when I'm doing fast picking, I'm just really, you know, imagining I'm sweeping. If that makes any sort of sense, I know it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense when I'm obviously picking several notes on one string, but just kind of, it really benefited me to come from that mentality and you know uh, I've said this in a lot of previous videos but one of the you know the videos that helped me develop um, this kind of style when I was a kid was picking up uh, Frank Gambale's Monster Licks and Speed Picking DVD so I'll put a description link in the description down below so you can go check that out I um, really really recommend it right so now that's just a way that I might pick up to the top of the scale. Let's just say I'll get to the high string and I want to turn it around and come back the other way. Well, if we go down, up, down on the high string, we're ending on a down pick and we're facing downward towards the floor. We don't want that if we want to turn it around because that means if we want to go back to the B string, we're going to have to hop over the high E string and pick back up. Um, so we definitely don't want that. It's going to slow us down. Um, so the way that we can sort of combat that is to do four notes on the high string and go down, up, down, up, and then head back in an upwards kind of sweep, sweeping motion. So check this out. We're going to go down, up, down, all the way up to the B string. Now the high string, we're going to go down, up, down, up. And this is the way I primarily pick my three note string scales. Notice how I went 14, 17, 15, 14. 
or F sharp, A, G, F sharp right there. Yeah, the reason being is just to turn that, you know, picking around for your right hand down, up, down, up, so you can come back the other way, right? Um, this is a really cool little trick I use. Um, again, very inspired by, by Frank Gambale, but check this out. So that was all down, up, down. High string down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, down, 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 up, 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 up, down, up. Now you can see the efficiency in my right hand. This is, and again, my right hand is not strained. My arm is not strained. I'm not pushing hard. There's no effort involved. It's very light. Okay, it's a very light touch. I'm just gliding. Okay. And you can get up to really, really crazy speeds with it. Um, so I really, really favor this sort of picking. You know, um, uh, so that's just one way I might do it. Uh, what I recommend to my students is to practice that method of picking that uh, we just went over, but um, across all your three note per string modes, right? So um, if we're in, you know, E minor, then our relative major is G major, right? So we can start all the way down here. So if I'm in G major, I could technically start here. I'll start in F sharp locrium. Uh, obviously, you know, we're not, I'm not worried about um, uh, the tonality of, of the Locrian key right, uh, the Locrian mode right now. I'm just using these as basically three note per string shapes to build my technique with. Um, so um, I might stick on a back and track like E minor or G minor, whatever, right? Um, and just run these scales to them. I might go like uh, uh, eighth notes. <laughs> Right, I might go triplets. Da, 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 da. Right, get that down. I might go 16 inch, one E and a two E and a. Next scale. Next scale. Right, so once I've got them down really well, I might speed it up, but you know, I always say it, it's better to go slowly, um, and I know it sounds lame, but it's really true. You know, if you're having trouble playing something really, really fast, if it's fall, fall, sort of falling apart, all that means is that you just haven't done it enough time slowly. So you're gonna wanna slide back down, spend some time just going, um, did, 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 triple it, triple it, one, did, three, one, did, right? Spend some time controlling the triplets. It's, it's, it's easier to control, sorry, it's harder to control something, uh, say like triplets at a slower uh, BPM, like da, 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 it's, it's harder to control that and get really nice timing than it is to sort of blaze through it um, a little bit faster, at least in my experience. And and, and the, the better you can control it at different notes of divisions, the better it's going to sound when it's up to speed. Um, you know, why do we love the shredders that we love? It's because when they shred and they go fast, it's, the timing is, is beautiful, it's right on point. So that's what we really want to strive to develop. Yeah, so yeah, you know, just moving on from that, Lydia. You get the idea, all the way back up, we're gonna go back up our octave here, carry on all the way up the fretboard as far as you can possibly get. Then you've mapped out the fretboard um, with every one of these three note per string modes. Not only is it gonna boost your fretboard map in, um, you know, giving you a good roadmap of the fretboard, but it's going to boost your, uh, your your technique with your right hand too. But you notice if you watch my right hand, it's very chill. Um, it's not strained. I'm not tense in my arm. Um, so a way that I get through that is to breathe when I play. So um, yeah, give those a try. Uh, see if you like him. Let me know in the comments how you're doing with it. If you like this video. Um, hit the thumbs up button for me and if you want to do something for me go to my mailing list at jackievincentofficial.com and subscribe to my mailing list <laughs> and uh, I've got lots of cool stuff on there um, promo codes and you always know when I have new content it'll keep you in the loop you'll let me uh, it will let you know if I have any tours or shows coming up if I ever decide to leave my house um, which is unlikely just kidding no I'll be out there for those of you that have been asking this is a Kiesel Vader with Damasio Evolution pickups in my favorite pickups. Um, so go check those out. I know a lot of you've been asking about what guitar I'm using. Um, just gauge nine strings and standard on here. Um, anyway, 
hit the thumbs up, go leave me a comment, let me know what other videos you want me to do, and much love. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope that I've helped you today. Yes, yeah, about it, really. Cheers.